and now the elimination game. Now, in the world that the left's created, a mere allegation can lead to cancellation. Now, by cancellation, I mean the loss of income, the loss of a platform, the loss of future opportunities. Now, of course, the strictest enforcement of this is always against those whom the left believes to be hostile to the liberal worldview. Case in point, actor, comedian, and cultural provocateur Russell Brand. The Times of London reported that between 2006 and 2013, several women have accused him of sexual assault and rape. Now, Brand insists the allegations are false. As I've written about extensively in my books, I was very, very promiscuous. Now, during that time of promiscuity, the relationships I had were absolutely always consensual. Of course, none of us knows what the truth is here. I've never met Brand, and I only know he's rattled the cage of some leftists lately for comments he's made, I think, about free speech and big pharma. But we should all understand this. It is dangerous territory we're entering. When accusations published by media outlets and unaccompanied by a legal determination of guilt are all that it takes to destroy someone's livelihood, which is what they're trying to do here. After the allegations surfaced, Brand was immediately demonetized on YouTube while they continue to keep his videos up so they can, I guess, make money. And then they dropped, he was dropped by his talent agency, dropped by his book publisher and a lot of others. So just canceled immediately. No further questions asked. In 2019, they tried to do the same to that Covington Catholic kid, Nick Sandman. He was attacked and painted as racist because of a few seconds of a viral video. The kid, Nick Sandman, he did make a choice, and that was to make it into a standoff. These kids are around the guy, and they're all jeering, and they're dancing. He's got this smug look on his face. And let's not lie. Everyone that sees that smug look wants to punch that kid. Whoops. Sandman, of course, uh, won a big out-of-court settlement against media outlets on defamation grounds. And a year earlier, a police officer was accused of sexually assaulting a woman he arrested for DUI, then threatening to shoot her fiancé. Well, body cam footage revealed the accuser made the entire thing up. And at Yale University, the campus was rocked when a student was charged with rape there. Another female student said that this individual attacked her in her dorm room on Halloween night in 2015. The accused, Saif Khan, said that the encounter was consensual, and he was eventually acquitted in court. But that didn't matter. Yale still kicked him out, expelled him. An allegation was all it took. He's in the middle of litigation now against the university, and there's more to come. That former student, Saif Khan, joins me now. Saif, we'll talk about your next lawsuit in a moment, but first, tell me how this ended up impacting your life. Good evening, Laura. It has uh, eviscerated my life in every way possible from the harms that they have presented to my family and the dangers. There was a petition against me where people were saying all sorts of nasty stuff and the viciousness, uh, my reputation, my, my career, uh, every single thing I was able to do in life has been crippled now because of this allegation that is baseless. I mean, people watching across the country hear that you were accused of something. You said it was consen consensual. It was eventually, you were eventually acquitted of this. Indeed. Why did the university decide to kick you out anyway? They are a corporation. They are not the government. They are not uh, beholden to due process. They, are not, they don't have to care. They have to simply see what is their bottom line. And so there was a ton of campus pressure from girls feeling uncomfortably being in class with me or in the dining hall. And so they just expelled me anyway. One of the craziest arguments that Yale had said was that just because a court of law says that you're not guilty doesn't mean we think you're not guilty. Well, I think, again, an allegation that ultimately is not proven in a court of law can still do enormous damage. Um, Saif, you have another lawsuit you're filing? I have uh, multiple suits. Uh, I, I, my main one is against Yale, uh, several administrators, including the president and the dean, and Jane Doe. Mm. Well, Saif, this is wild. We're going to be following it. Um, and I certainly think that this, this can't continue what's happening. It's, everyone's going to be afraid to say anything to anyone about anything. Saif, thank you so much. Up next, we're going to take the pulse of the nation with Ben Domenech, Matt Towery. There's a lot going on, so stay there.
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.